Welcome, lovely. It's another segment of Lucian Bean Behind the Scene, showing you and talking about a very special piece in the Crisas collection. Welcome, lovely. Here we are, a uh, amazing piece from Crisas, uh, a duster. I have a soft spot for dusters. I find them very versatile and it's a great, great look. So we are here showing you, I'm showing you here, the silk dot duster. Uh, the fabric, of course, exquisite, embossed little dots on here. And uh, the fabric is a little textured of the dots on, to on top of silk fabric. And uh, it's not see-through, it's a solid silk, but very light. So you can see the amount of fabric that is in here. It's, it's unbelievable, flowy, and you feel very feminine. I'm wearing it, I'm wearing an extra small, by the way, and it's a good fit on the shoulders and a, t a little tailored here, and then it goes out. I will show you different ways on how to wear this, and I'll show you later on what it looks like when it's uh, buttoned up. So it's got a whole row of lovely buttons. It has a nice length. It goes up a little bit in the front and then it bows down, bows down a little bit in the back. So that gives it this elegant swoop, right? And uh, I paired it up with an amazing scarf from Crisas. The, the scarves this year are fabulous. So we have the chartreuse, we have the uh, burgundy red and this navy blue. The chartreuse would have gone beautiful too with this. I feel I I'm gravitating to the scarf a lot, so I thought I'd go with this fantastic lilac-y purple. I love it. And this is a crushed silk. It feels like very soft, and it's a, a really nice size, actually. It's very long, so you can wrap and wrap and wrap. And then uh, the width is quite substantial, too. And since it's so light, you can make it very skinny, or you can just make it a substantial scarf, which I like. Uh, what else do I have on? The Siska earrings always never disappoint. We're waiting for a big drop of Siska. We're very low at the moment, so keep your um, antennas up for the new Siska drop. Amazing Karen Kuna belt, which you uh, lovely own, a lot of you own. Uh, adjustable, so if I would want to wear it in the waist, it goes up like this and you move the dome and you move it on this side and then you have a waist uh, an accentuated waist you want to do it hip hip wide you just lower it a bit and do the second dome um, and then with the belt you can wear it over the dress which i'm going to show you in a picture then i find it looks like a shirt dress belted and uh, it's this classic look right i love it I will change and I will show you another look in the gorgeous Crisos Silk Dust. Lovelies, I'm back and um, <laughs> I really like this look. It's a, it's a little different, right? But uh, I think it's very, it's very different, which I like. I like different things. I uh, found another way to style the gorgeous Crisos Duster, the Silk Duster. And uh, I pulled out the Liverpool uh, jeans jackets that we just got in, the, the jackets. It's the Pablum one. It's a gorgeous dark uh, indigo blue denim. And I love, this is of course the piece, piece de resistance is this little Pablum uh, piece that uh, accentuates your waist. And uh, because the dress has so much fabric in it, the dress is going very flowy now and fafumi. So uh, yeah, I feel, I feel really good in this. I pulled out a clutch to go with the colors and my earrings from Siska are a little turquoise, which is fantastic with the brown. I don't know what you think, but I think I'm ready to go out in the town. Feeling, feeling very good. I uh, will, I have a little story to tell you. This is not an outfit to do this in, but uh, on the weekend, uh, Clan and I uh, got on our bikes, our electric bikes, and we live in St. Catharines, and there's a pathway that goes all along 12 Mile Creek, and then it, le it leads you to Martindale, and Martindale leads you to Port de Lucie eventually. And uh, for you who are not, for you lovelies who are not familiar with this area, Port de Lucie is, uh, it's the boating town, it's the little harbor, uh, it's got a pier with the lighthouse and 
it's got a huge history of cruise little cruise ships coming from Buffalo and and uh, uh, landing there and then uh, people would go out and dance in Port Lucy anyway that's long time gone it sounds like so much fun long time gone but there's still lots to do it's a lovely quaint little uh, harbor town and so we biked and uh, the point about Martindale Road is that they have laid out an experimental biking uh, path it's a long, it's a busy road, Martindale Road, but they've made these biking paths on both sides and they've got uh, intermittent poles to uh, section you off from the, from the road. And uh, we tried it out. I felt pretty safe. The, the traffic is still going way too fast, but I felt pretty safe because there's a barrier between you and the cars, which I like. I find it's uh, being used to the bicycle traffic in the Netherlands. It's, it's, it's sometimes scary to bike here. So anyway, that was a great experience from where uh, Clan's house. It took us uh, 20 minutes to bike there. And then we had some wings and beer and I walked around a bit and then uh, we biked back. So that was a great outing. We're gonna do it more often, even just for a coffee, get some exercise and uh, fresh air and see a different scenery. By the way, it was very busy in Port de Lucy. People were walking the pier, there were lots of boats. Uh, they have a lovely yacht club where you can dine. And uh, yeah, little advertisement for Port Lucy. I, would, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't wear this, but um, anyway, I hope you like this video and uh, you got some inspiration on what to do with this amazing duster. As always, keep on smiling.